Hey there everybody, it's Missy and I'm back with something a little different today for the Paige Evans design team. Our theme this week was to create some sort of project using the Take Me Away collection. And so that means not a layout, which is definitely not my strong suit, but I accepted the challenge and I like what I came up with. So I first just started thumbing through the papers from Take Me Away and I found an idea on Pinterest and it's the total fail. So this doesn't even make it to the first five minutes of this project. But let me tell you what I originally planned on doing. Now, this is a sheet of really thick craft card stock. It might have been like a, an insert in some sort of packaging. It's pretty thick. And I wanted to create this heart that you could hang on the wall. And it's got a bunch of rolled up papers on it. It looked really cool on Pinterest, which, you know, everything on Pinterest looks beautiful. Until you try to make it yourself. And I'm, I'm thinking, this is a fail, totally. So I went and got a straw, a very sturdy straw, from one of my cups in the kitchen. And I'm going to try to roll some paper around it and create this rolled up heart. But I want to make sure that my heart looks okay. And I just freehanded it. I just drew it by hand. Uh, this was really thick paper and I didn't want a chance putting it in my cameo. And most of it's going to be covered up anyway. So... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just an amateur at this kind of thing, but it did not work for me. Um, you can see that layouts are <laughs> clearly my strong suit. So yeah, I'm trying to wrap this paper around the straw, and it just did not want to roll. I don't know if my straw was too thick or the paper was too thick, but I gave up on this really fast. I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. I tried to use a paintbrush. No, my paper was all bent up. It wasn't straight. And so I thought, yeah, this isn't going to happen. Just no, no. So I took a break for a little bit, and I decided to do something different. I found this paper in the Take Me Away collection with the beautiful template for stitched flowers. So I thought, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stitch these flowers, and then I'll worry about creating something with them after they're stitched. So I went through, and I found a tiny little needle and all the thread in my embroidery collection that matched the deep red color and the green and the leaves and then there's, there's a couple of smaller orange flowers so i took probably two days over the course of the time that i had to scrap at my desk to stitch all of these little x's yeah i used a very tiny needle and now i see clearly why why paige uses her dentist gloves because at the end of this, I almost had bloody fingers. I mean, yeah, I did so much stitching with this little tiny needle. Usually I use a bigger needle. And um, I split the embroidery strands in half. So I was using three strands right here. And I didn't want to use a big needle because all those little X's are so close together. So I got this part done. I think it looks great. I love how it looks. It's very nice and neat. And you know exactly where to stitch. So I'm just going to keep going. See how tiny my little needle is? And I didn't even use a paper piercer. I just used the needle itself to poke the holes in the four corners of each of the X's. And then just stitched. Over and across. Over and across. Over and under. For what seemed like days. Yeah, it took me about two days. Not, you know, I mean, uh, several hours to get this done. Um, but I love how it turned out. So I'm not going to make you watch me stitch all of this because it's definitely not exciting. But, ta-da! I got it all done. I had sore fingers for two days. Yeah, I poked myself many, many a times. Next time, I will... If I use a tiny needle like this... There's my poor hands, yeah. <laughs> they were swollen and bruised. I know that sounds so sad and so pathetic, but it was true. <laughs> anyway, it was worth it. You, sometimes you just, you know, you, you got to injure yourself and put yourself through some torture to get a pretty scrapbook project. But anyway, everything is done stitching wise. And so now I'm going to take my little scissors here and I'm going to fussy cut around the edges. So I'm going to have fussy cut stitched flowers. Look how pretty they are. I think they turned out really nice. And you really can't mess those up because the template is there, you know. Uh, the X's are already marked. Okay, so I'm going to create some sort of pretty heart flowery 
thing that you could hang on the wall and I like how it turns out so I'm going to use some white acrylic paint and give this heart a base coat here because I'm going to do some mixed media stuff on it and you know I have to say it was kind of fun to do something different for a change not working with the photo um, but you know it was a challenge and um, I'm happy with the result so, all right everything is dry I've picked out some colors uh, some pinks, some reds, and some yellows, and I'm just going to sort of start to play with everything. I didn't really know what I wanted my end result to be, but I just wanted something pretty that could be considered home decor. So these are from sh uh, some of my Shimmers products here, mixed in with some gelatos, and I'm just going to add some messy color to my background here to start. different shades of pink and I want it to look kind of messy and artsy so I'm gonna do a combination of you know smushing it down with the plastic and then just directly spraying it right onto the heart along with some splattering I'm just kind of going as whatever I feel like doing at the moment, honestly. I still at this point didn't have a finished product in mind. I was just kind of going for it. So now I'm going to add some different shades of pinks here and there. I'm going to use the gelatos. And since I added that white paint first, it kind of gives it a little bit more of a, a slick surface. And so it really allowed the gelatos to smudge and blend very nicely. And since I added some of the spray, there was a little bit of liquid there to help smudge it as well. And to get that deeper reddish pink color, I'm just going to add in a little bit of a red gelato over that pink. doesn't take much because red is so bold. Uh, so I just add just a tiny bit of a scribble and then I smudge it. And even though the flowers didn't have any yellow in there, I decided to add a little bit of yellow here to the mix. And I do get a little bit of orange mix because when you mix yellow and pink you get a little bit of an orangey coral color and that's okay so I'm really liking how this is looking um, I decide to jazz up the flowers since there was so much white on the flowers I took my shimmers and gelato and mixed some pinks together and then I'm going to use the water brush and just add some shading. Now I'm not using a lot of liquid because this is, you know, it's pattern paper so it's not super thick and uh, I didn't want to add a lot of water. But I'm just trying to add some pink shading here just to give the flower a little more of a, a realistic look and to tone down the, the white space. And I got that water brush probably, it's been over a year, but they still have them. I got it at Michael's, and it's in the art section. And I believe it's Pentel was the brand, but uh, it was like $8, I think. But uh, you just add some water to it. The, the tip screws off, and you add some water, and then as you work, you squeeze it, and just a little bit of water comes out, and I love that thing. So I got all those flowers colored. I love how they look. I think that looks really, really cool. So I'm going to go back to the heart and keep adding some color to it before I start to glue all of the flowers down. And now I really love how this looks. I think adding the color to the flowers gave them some more dimension and they make them look a little more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? They just have some more depth to them. They don't look so flat. Now this is another paper from Take Me Away and I'm going to fussy cut out this little circle that says Happy Day. Then I stumble upon this paper again and I thought those flowers need to be fussy cut. So yeah, I'm going to take some time and do some more fussy cutting with these artsy looking watercolor-esque flowers. So I fussy cut out several of those. And I like the mixture of the stitched flowers and these flowers. 
the colors play nicely off each other and I like the the leaves and the stems and then it's just a nice contrast of you know different types of flowers and there's also some smaller orange colored ones so I'm gonna cut a couple of those smaller ones out also I do have all of these papers documented of which one is which because all of the papers in pages collections are numbered so the fussy cut flowers I just cut out are from paper number two and the stitched flowers are from paper number 14 and then the happy day circle is from paper 20. Now off camera I did a little bit of stitching around the perimeter of the heart and I did that in shiny gold thread and then I added some foam underneath the big flower there and then I'm going to pull in that ephemera die cut piece that says love is gold and that is shiny gold with white lettering on it and then I'm going to use one of the bows. I have not used any of the bows yet and I like how it pulls in that deep reddish pink color from the stitched flowers. And I'm just moving paper around trying to decide what looks good where and making sure that I've got the different colors kind of spaced around so they're not exactly touching each other. I did pull a couple of those same type of flowers from the ephemera die cut pack as well and they have a, a thick white border around them so to make them match everything else I'm going to just trim that off and then before I start to glue everything down I'm going to come in with some thread and this is the matching yellow golden color my hands always have paint or gelato or something on them all the time I'm kind of used to it this is why I don't get manicures because yeah <laughs> I just consider paint my nail polish except it's all over my hands and my nails all right so I'm gonna start to glue everything down uh, I like the way it's looking and I like that I added the foam underneath the big flower there it gives it some dimension and um, I like the way the thread looks whenever you add dimension to something by popping it up you can add the thread under there and it just looks I like it I don't know I just like the way it looks kind of looks like everything's kind of coming off the page at you so I do add some foam to a couple of the smaller flowers just to give that corner of the heart some dimension And the more that I did this, the more I was glad that I changed my mind and didn't go with the paper rolls since that was an epic fail. I'm sure there's an easier way to do that, but <laughs> oh, I just, yeah, no, didn't work. We'll see, maybe one day. I decided I need a little bit more of that deeper red color, so I came back with the red gelato and did a little bit more smudging. You can see how just a little bit of that really adds a lot of color. Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine, of course, since I've got pops of gold going on already. And then the last thing I'm going to do is glue down some ribbon from my stash so I can hang this up. And the final pictures are coming. I really like how this turned out. I think it's going to look very pretty hanging up somewhere in my house. I love the colors. I love the flowers. All that stitching was worth it. Even my bruised up, almost bloody fingers. Sometimes you just got to hand stitch. I was just in the mood to do it. And I love how the paint looks on those flowers. I think that really gave it 
lot of uh, dimension and depth. So let me know if you have any questions about any of this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it was something different for me, but it was fun to get out of my comfort zone and do something a little different. So make sure you check out Paige's blog down below in the Pink Paisley store. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.